right, I'm trying something new due to my editing program giving me anger issues while trying to edit a Pokemon review. So I thought let's talk about my other passion which is anime and let's see how well it's going to do. So let's start by talking about one of, if not the, best anime of the current winter season 2022. My Dress Up Darling. And with that, hello! I'm Seik, and first off, a bit about me. I've been watching anime for more than a decade now, and I've seen more than 200 different shows, not counting second season or rewatches. And one thing I realized after watching that much anime is that I've become quite good at recognizing tropes and predicting where animes go. Which brings me to My Dress Up Darling. So far it's been a really good show, combining comedy with a side of romance and having a small underlying message about it being okay to like things that are commonly seen as outside of your gender's preferences and that not accepting that for others just means you're a dick. And to quickly sum up the story, our main character loves making Hina dolls, old handcraft dolls people put onto shelves as decoration, basically anime figurines but from long before anime or even manga existed. And well, he's approached by the main love interest, a girl that's so into hentai games she wants to become one of their characters, so she finds out about his hobby and asks him to make her a cosplay and from there the actual story about making cosplay begins. And honestly, the first episodes were a banger. They were both funny and had some cute scenes in them, even if some scenes felt to overstay their welcome with the main character switching between being a horny virgin and being dedicated to the cause. But overall, it's been a great show so far and... Which brings me to the problem I personally have. And obviously I could easily get the answer from reading the manga, but... I don't like manga. <coughs> uh, the girl realizes she fell in love with the protagonists, which honestly is a, is a big pro for the anime, because by now I've gotten sick of the trope where both characters are unaware about their feelings and just meander around never really getting together until the very end of the story. Now the problem comes that she's a character that has been shown to be the proactive one out of the two, but she doesn't act on it. It's cute to see a usually so confident character get swept up in in her emotions, but we're already seven episodes in and there are only going to be twelve. And I know the show technically doesn't need a proper romance as it's good enough without it, but I've gotten annoyed at most shows either just teasing romance or only going for it at the very end of the season, which isn't going to get a continuation, but I'm at a point where I want animes to either commit to romance or don't do it at all. Animes like these are usually made to have the main character be a self-insert for the viewer and to me this makes it worse because it either makes me lose immersion to the protagonist being dumbass or makes me feel like an idiot. At least, from what I've seen, both the manga and the anime are missing the harem genre, which alleviates my concern that the show is going to go the meandering romance route just for multiple characters. Especially because I've gotten concerned with the first new character joining the group and more teased in the opening. But I'm curious where this is going from here, even if they don't commit to romance. I'd hope my dress-up darling is going to go the route of 
faraway paladin, where the beginning is great, just for the other half to be exceptionally boring. I've been enjoying the little parts this anime teaches about cosplaying too. They're not over explaining, and they're not just using the hobby as a vehicle for jokes. It genuinely feels like whoever wrote this has some experience with it. As a purple idiot would say, Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. But that'll be it for today. Let me know what you think. Um, am I just complaining out of my arse? Do I have a point? What do you think I could do to better myself and my videos? And let me know if you like this video. Depending on how well it does, I might talk more about anime. I've already gotten an idea for an edgy anime bingo analysis of a show I recently watched. But for now, thanks for watching and hopefully I won't punch a hole through my monitor while editing the Pokemon review. Have a great day.